Astronaut ice cream is not something we eat because it tastes good. Oh. <laughs> oh, I don't have broken juice. Mm. Uh, Very chalky. Some kind of flavored medicine. It's the marshmallow bits and Lucky Charms. We do it because it's what the astronauts eat. But here's the problem. Is that what this video is about? Is it, do they not actually eat space ice cream in space? Astronaut ice cream is a lie. A crumbly, chalky lie. This is the National Air and Space Museum's storage facility. It really looks like something from Indiana Jones. And they have a lot of space food. Stuff like John Glenn's feeding tube, Apollo-era chocolate cubes, and the solar system's greatest cookie feeder. Yeah, the, the dispenser on the tube here is very much like what you would think of as a Pez dispenser. But when you ask to see the astronaut ice cream... We don't have any. It's surprisingly hard to track down the truth about this stuff. The only original info we have is a press release from NASA and a newspaper clipping from 1968 suggesting that vanilla ice cream might have gone up on Apollo 7. The people who make astronaut ice cream can't confirm it either. Right now I'm going to be calling uh, the people who make this. cannot verify one way or the other. I, I wasn't with the company then and... Um... So I called an astronaut who was actually there. Walter Cunningham, I flew on Apollo 7, October 11th to the 22nd, 1968. It was the first manned mission after a deadly cabin fire on Apollo 1, and Cunningham, Wally Schirra, and Don Isley had big worries. Meals were scheduled and uh, we put up with them, and we put up with them because we were really there to test the spacecraft and we were busy all the time. But I asked about astronaut ice cream anyway. The only citation I found is people saying that it flew on Apollo 7. Is that they true? No, they don't know their ass, obviously. We never had any of that. Cunningham says it was one of many myths that just got repeated by the press. Like the legendary cold that all of the crew members had. Pure uh, bullshit. <laughs> yes, I never had a cold. I think Don thought he might be getting one. He coughed a little bit maybe, for, but he never really got a cold. Wally's the one that had a cold. And the transcripts don't show ice cream either. There was a lot of chatter about other foods, like the many puddings on board. The Apollo list was primarily rehydratable foods, like salmon salad, not ice cream. And for the most part, astronauts hated sweet foods. They traded a lot of food on board, and sweet stuff was awful. They tried to get rid of their puddings. Don Isley said, Wally and I want to give away our butterscotch pudding, but nobody will take it. But even out of the hated sweet foods, Cunningham says astronaut ice cream was not one of the options. After it came out, and I was long gone from NASA, I remember thinking, gee, wouldn't it be nice if we had that? And it makes sense if you know about space travel, too. Plus it's super crumbly, so I just imagine all these particles like floating through, <laughs> flying into the controls. Yeah, yeah. These bright signs, uh, objects were designed to uh, uh, remove the problem of having so many crumbs floating around in the cabin. Look at Neil Armstrong's fruitcake. See how it has a gelatin layer on it? That helped reduce crumbling in early missions, and food just got better anyway. By Skylab's launching in 1973, they had a freezer on board. Today. Astronaut ice cream is normal ice cream. But that didn't stop NASA, museums, and space camps from selling the imaginary space food to generations of kids. There is a better way. Sell kids astronaut peach ambrosia, astronaut shrimp cocktail, or astronaut crawfish etouffee. Or sell the thing that Walt Cunningham loved so much, he smuggled it in his suit in case Apollo 7 was marooned. Before launch, we put a few things in our pockets in case we aborted during launch. It would be out at sea someplace. We wanted to have a little food with us in case we needed it. I had those bacon squares in the, down in the pocket, down at the bottom of my suit. Teach the children about astronaut bacon, but let the ice cream go. One of the hallmarks, at least of early spaceflight, and those that were assigned to various individuals, are pieces of Velcro. White Velcro was the symbol of the mission commander. So in this case, we have coffee, I believe, that comes from Apollo 11. So this would have been assigned to Neil Armstrong. 